Welcome to Reading Redness Centers, where learning is fun and exciting. Today, we are diving into the world of measurement and exploring how we measure volume using metric and US customary units. Are you ready? Let's get started. Meet Emily and Max, our measurement experts. They are here to help us understand how to measure volume. Volume is how much space something takes up. Imagine we are pouring water into different containers. Emily is using a measuring cup and Max is using a measuring cylinder. They both want to know how much water each container can hold. In the metric system, we use liters and milliliters to measure volume. A liter is like a big container of water and a milliliter is a tiny drop of water. Emily poured water into her measuring cup and found that it can hold 500 milliliters of water. Max poured water into his measuring cylinder and found that it can hold 0.5 liters of water. Do you know one liter equal to 1000 in milliliters in the metric system? Now, let's talk about US customary units. In the United States, we use cups, pints, quarts, and gallons to measure volume. Emily decided to use cups to measure her water. She filled up two cups. Max, on the other hand, used a quart container to measure his water. He found that it can hold one quart of water. So, remember, in the metric system, we use liters and milliliters, and in the US customary system, we use cups, pints, quarts, and gallons to measure volume. And there you have it, our volume measurement adventure with Emily and Max. Wasn't that fun? Before we wrap up, let's quickly talk about the formula for finding volume. Whether you're using metric or US customary units. The formula for measuring volume is simple, length multiply width multiply height. Just multiply these three dimensions together to find out how much space an object takes up. When we use the formula for volume, length multiply width multiply height, the resulting volume is expressed in cubic units. For instance, if we measure all our dimensions in centimeters, then our volume will be in cubic centimeters, cm cubed. If we are working with inches, the volume will be in cubic inches, in cubed. The unit of volume will depend on the units we use for the dimensions in the formula. So, the next time you're exploring, remember this formula and you'll be a volume expert in no time. We hope you enjoyed learning about measuring volume with us today. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more exciting lessons. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep learning and exploring, young mathematicians.